So if testosterone is something that you're interested in, how do you know that it's right for you and what do you need to do before you even get started? Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women and let's talk about it. So the deal with testosterone is I usually will start it after somebody is optimized on estrogen and progesterone because you want to make sure that you're satisfying their actual menopausal symptoms which are the acute withdrawal of those as opposed to testosterone which is not necessarily an acute withdrawal it's like a much slower drop over time so given that that's sort of like the icing on top of what we're going for i wait until menopause is solved you need testosterone levels to start with and you also need liver enzymes that should be followed now People that are not a candidate for testosterone are somebody with active breast or uterine cancer, somebody with liver disease, somebody with significant cardiovascular risk factors, uh, and somebody even with PCOS who already has a lot of excess hair or androgenic, like more male experienced like symptoms because testosterone is only gonna make it worse. Now, if your testosterone level is relatively low or even like not terribly low, but you're like miserable in libido and energy, you could consider testosterone. Now, what we do is I like to do it in the form of either like a cream or a gel, not something that's compounded, but something that's FDA approved for men, which means that it's an out-of-pocket cost to cover it, but a one-month supply of a men's testosterone can last for like three quarters of a year, so the cost benefit is how long you can use it, and we micro-dose this gel on either our thighs and our forearms uh, every day to see where we're going to go. You should get repeat blood work done within the first three to six weeks after starting this to make sure that you haven't gone way over and that your liver enzymes are tolerating everything. Now, if you have overshot on the levels, and what I would say is I'm aiming for like 80-ish, sometimes upwards of 100, then you can actually, with very careful precision, decrease the amount of ointment or gel that you're using. And then you can kind of like gauge that because you want to feel just good enough to get the benefit without overdosing yourself on the testosterone because you'll feel great for a hot minute until all the side effects kick in and hit you in the head.